Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to change your sticky logo on scroll with Divi. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so the first thing we need to do is to log into our WordPress admin dashboard and make sure you're running Divi, of course, and scroll all the way down to the bottom here. So you want to go into the theme builder. So I'm hovering over here where it says Divi. I click on the theme builder and then the next thing is to click here on add global header because this is where we're going to build it. Next, I want to click on build global header and we are going to build our template from scratch. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to close this for now and then go into my section settings. Now here I need to add a background color. So I'm going to click on this plus button and paste my color in here. Now, if you want to use the exact same colors as I'm using throughout this tutorial, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. Next, we need to reduce padding here. So we're going to click here on design and then we need to go to spacing. We're going to add zero to the top and bottom. Okay, so notice that I've just activated that chain. The chain just applies the same value both to the top and the bottom. All right, so the next step now is to add our box shadow. So I'm going to come over here to box shadow and I'm going to go with this option right here. And now let's make some adjustments. So on the blur strength, I am going to set this to 50 pixels and I'm also going to add my color here. So I'm going to click here on this little eyedropper tool and the color is going to be placed between the brackets. And like I said, I will leave the link to the post in the show notes below. So you can also use the same colors. All right. So now that I have this all set, I'm going to hit save. And then the next step now is to add our columns. So I'm going to click here on this plus button and the column structure we're going to go with is this one right here. So I'm going to go ahead and select it. I'm going to close this for now because we need to go into the row settings. I'm going to click here on the gear icon. Click on design and then we're going to come over here to sizing. So first things first, I need to uh, activate use custom gutter width. And this gutter width is the space between the columns. So we want to make sure there's no spaces. So we're going to set this to one. And we also need to equalize column heights. And then we need to set our width. So for our width here, it's good at 80%. But then for our tablet, we are going to set this to 100%. So just make sure you add in 100%. And we're going to also going to do the same for the phone. Okay, great. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is so that uh, we get um, very good layouts in different screen sizes. All right. So for the maximum width here, I'm going to set this to 2580. Okay. So we, now we want it nice and big. Okay. Moving on. We also need to go to the spacing. So I'm going to scroll further down here, go to spacing. And here we're also going to play around with the padding set this to zero just like what we did with the uh, sections all right so now that we have this all set i'm going to come back over here to content because we need to go into column one so we are going to add our spacing here in this column so i'm going to come over here to design spacing and here we are going to set this to 15 pixels and we want this both to the top and the bottom and now i'm going to go back here because we need to go into column two and in column two, we need to add a background color. So I'm going to come over here to background, click on this plus button and paste my hexadecimal value here for my button. All right. So now that we have this, we're going to add a module to column one. So let's save this head over here to, in fact, let's save one more time. And over here, we're going to add a module called menu. Let's go ahead and select it. So I already have a menu which was pre-designed. So it is right here. So you can click here on this drop down and choose which menu that you want to go with. Okay. Right. So now that I have my menu all set, we need to remove the background color because as you can see, this does not look great. So I'm going to click here on background and click on this transparent option. Okay. So now that uh, I don't have my background anymore, we need now to go in and customize our text. So I'm going to click here on design. Menu text. So we're going to change this to monster at. So I'm going to search for it. It's a free font, by the way. There we go. I'm going to select it. We're going to make sure that it's set to bold. And the color needs to be white because we have a dark background. Next, we need to uh, adjust our size here. So we had 14. Let's set this to 16. We want it nice and big. And then for the text alignment, we want this over to the right, just like that. Okay, next, I'm going to come over here to my icon settings. So what we need to do here is to set our shopping cart icon color to white, our search icon color white, and also our hamburger menu icon to white because we have a dark background. Okay, so now that we have this all set, let's head over to spacing. So I'm going to come over here, 
And under spacing, we are going to add some margins. So the margins only apply to the phone and the tablet. Okay, so we sort of make sure that we have that set. So I'm going to click here on this little icon, click on the phone, on the tablet, and then we're going to add a top and bottom margin. And this needs to be 10 pixels. And the same needs to be on the phone as well. That's great. And we also need to add a left and right margin. And again, this is on the phone and tablet. So I'm going to come over here, set this to 5%, activate my chain, and let's just make sure we have the same here for the tablets. Okay, fantastic. So now that I have all my margins set, let's add a button to column two. So I'm going to save this, come over here, click on this plus button, and I'm going to search for my button module and select it. So on the button here, we can say contact us, but you can add whatever text you want in this area here. Make sure you also come over here and add your link. Right now, I'm just adding a blank link. Next, let's um, set our button alignment. So we're going to come over here to design alignment and we're going to center this. And now let's customize the button by coming over here to button and activating use custom styles for button. So the size for the text here is going to be 17. The text color is going to be white. And let's remove our border width. So I'm just going to drag the slider to zero. So all we have now is just the text. Next, let's uh, customize our button font. So we're going to come over here, set this to monster at, and then we also need to make it uppercase. Now let's head over to spacing. So I'm going to scroll down here. So what I'm going to do is add a top margin of 30. And I also need to apply the same to the bottom. So now you can see we have this large space around our button. So the next step now is to allow our sticky effects. So I'm going to come over here to advanced position. So to get the stick effects, we need to be here on scroll effects. Okay, so here the first option is do not stick, but we want this to stick. So we want this to stick to the top and then we're going to save. Okay, so now let's go back here to our section settings. We're going to come over here to background. Okay, so over here on background, we want a state. So we're going to click here on um, this little icon, the sticky icon, and then we're going to click on the sticky tab. So on the sticky tab is where we need to change our color when we scroll. So we're going to set our background color to white. And then we're going to save. And then next, we're going to go into our row settings. And here we're going to click on design sizing. So for our width here, we're going to click the sticky icon and uh, click on the sticky tab. But this time, what we're going to do is we are going to set our width at 100%. So I'm going to drag this all the way to 100%. And then back over here, we're going to go into our column one settings. And in column one, we need to adjust our padding. So I'm going to click here on design spacing. So right now you can see our padding is at 15 pixels. So we want to uh, make sure it's changed, but on the sticky option. Okay, so we're going to click here on the sticky icon. Make sure we are with uh, sticky selected. And we're going to set this to zero. And this needs to be both for the top and the bottom. Okay, so that's looking great. Let's go back because we need to go into the second column. And here in the second column, we need to adjust our background color. So we're going to come over here to background and make sure we click here on the sticky item. And then here we need to change the background. So I'm going to click here, paste my color. Okay, so we can see the color has changed to blue there. So that's what's going to happen when we are in the sticky state. Now let's change the menu colors because right now, as you can see, our text here is not visible. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this. Save it one more time. So we're going to go into our module here, click on design, menu text, and then here on um, our text color, I'm going to make sure I click here on the sticky item. And then I'm going to paste my color here. So now you can see our color is visible when we are in the sticky state. So while we're here on the sticky items, let's head over here to our icons. And remember, all these were set, set to white. So let's go ahead and change our colors because otherwise they won't be seen on the white background. White on white does not work. Okay, so now I have all my colors all set. The next step now is to go to spacing because what we need to do here on spacing is to adjust our left margins. Okay, so I'm going to come over here, make sure that I'm going to sticky item activated. And then over here on the left, I'm going to set this to 5%. 
and then save. And now I'm also going to go into the button here because we also need to make some changes to this button. I'm going to come over here to the design tab, click on, um, on the button and we're going to scroll down to spacing and making sure we select our and making sure we select our margins. In fact, let's select this. Um, so first of all, we need to make sure we have the sticky item selected and then we need to click here on sticky and over here we need to adjust our top and bottom margin and set this to 15. So we want this to shrink a bit, but only in the sticky mode. So now I'm going to uh, add my logo. So I'm going to save this. I'm going to go into our module here and select logo. So I'm going to add my first logo. So as you can see, this state here is white. So we need a dark logo. So I'm just going to make sure we have a logo that stands out. So as you can see here, we have this dark background so we need a logo that stands out so let's go in and choose a lighter logo so let's go ahead and select it upload an image so now that one is perfect so let's adjust our maximum width for our logo so i'm going to come over here to design sizing and then my maximum logo width we're going to bring this down so just play around with this until you are pretty much happy with the size so i think 50 6% is going to be fine for this. And then the maximum height also needs to be included. So we're going to go with 80 for this. In fact, let's bring it down to 60. There we go. All right. So now we're going to need the other logo that should show when it's in a different state. In this case, it's going to be the sticky state. Okay. So let's save this because the first thing we need to do is to go to our media library and find it. Okay, so we are in our media library. So the logo that we need is going to be the dark one because our background is going to be white. So I'm going to select it here and copy this URL. Okay, so now that I've copied it back over here on my site, let's go back to our menu settings. So I'm going to click here and then I'm going to come over here to advanced custom CSS and what we need is logo so here's the menu logo okay so now that we're here on the menu logo we need to make sure we select our sticky item here and then i'm going to click on the sticky option here so i'm going to paste my information here so i need to add my url that i copied and now you can see that my logo is now showing and this is going to be on the other state so now it's time to save we're going to save one more time and then we're going to close out of here and save all changes now let's test and see if this is going to work. Okay, so this is the moment of truth. Let's test and see if this is working now. So I'm going to scroll and you can see right away that uh, this has changed and my logo has changed as well. There we go. Perfect. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.